Welcome to another beautiful day of Out and About. My name is Bashi Modi and I'm here in Bern City. Today's topic is on HIV and testing. Have you ever had your HIV test before? How would you react if you found out that your results were positive? Let's get the opinion from the people. Don't go away, we'll be right back. And don't forget, this is African Mirror TV. Just keep it locked. No, I never had. Never had an HIV test? No. What if you found out that you were positive? Would you have had an HIV test for free, if it was? Oh, well, I would do it. You would do it? Yeah, sure. Uh huh. What do you think about having HIV tests? Is yeah. it important? Yeah, I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. but, uh, just, it's, uh, it's very secure if you use a condom, but um, there's always the possibility that you, you infect yourself with the HIV virus, no? So you would recommend actually to have a test? Is yeah, sure. I, I, I think it would be good if, uh, if the state and the government would... Uh, oh, just a little bit of sound. Yeah. No, it would be cool if the, if the government w would uh, give us the, the possibility to, to get this uh, HIV test for free. For free? Yeah, I would stand for that. If, if the government w would uh, let us for free, yes. You would actually stand for that? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Because it's very important. It's, uh, yeah, there are many problems in, uh, in this world and this is one of it. Yeah. Uh, meaningly, like, what would, you, what would you talk about for m mostly on the young people or that you recommend that, like you, on marriages, before no. marriages, to have a test? No, I think uh, not just for young people, because, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the, <laughs> the what's, um, how can I call this? Yeah, I think uh, older people have sex too, so they, they, should, they should make a test too. Yeah. Safe sex, safe? Sa yeah, safer sex is very impo important, but uh, is, there's always some possibility to get them. Um, because I, uh, one week ago I had uh, a fight with, with a guy. Yeah, yeah and uh, somehow I, I, I got his, uh, I, I punched him in his face and I got a little bit of blood and made, made, made like this. Oh. Yeah, sure, and, and now I don't know. Maybe he got the HIV virus and I don't know. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Hi, I'm Barbara Zwan from the AIDS Hilfe Burr. And I'm here to comment some street interviews from African Mirror TV. In the first one, we have seen a young man telling us that it is important that people have access to uh, tests. And we agree fully in that. Uh, concerning costs, we provide tests uh, for asylum seekers and people without stable permit in Switzerland for free. Um, he said as well that uh, test, uh, testing is not only for young people, but for people at all age. And uh, this is so true because uh, HIV isn't interested in age, but uh, HIV is concerning everyone that is uh, sexually active. So, uh, um, when you uh, hold on to the safer sex rules, like using a condom and not taking a sperm or a blood into the mouth, you don't have to make a test. Other situations where the transmission of uh, HIV could be possible are quite rare in Switzerland because the health system is uh, um, very good and in the health system people are um, concerned about um, hygienic rules. Then uh, uh, the mother-child transmission is also very rare because pregnant women are being tested to uh, find every infection to uh, ensure that the child will not be infected itself. One uh, last risk could be the transmission by exchanging a syringe by drug users, but the transmission of HIV has never occurred by a fight, by a street fight. So it is important that people are getting good information about the risk of uh, HIV transmission and to know how they can avoid it. Yes. 
uh, and find it is important? Yes, it's important if you have sexual, if you have sex, I guess. If you are sleeping with a woman or a man, you should just like do it every three months or whatever. Yeah. Because if you're not having sex with a condom, it's bad. Wow. Uh, what happens if, let's just say that you went to the hospital and you had your, just a control. Mm -hmm. And then you got the bad news from the doctor that you're positive. Uh -huh. What would you do then? I don't know. Because I've never been so far that I hear a negative news about like, I don't know. I guess I'll go crazy maybe. Go crazy? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. That's really cool. Yeah, thank you very much. IV test for? Yes. Uh, you find that... Uh, they, when you find out that you went to a hospital and con had a control, and then the doctor just told you that you were already positive, mm -hmm. what would you do? Um, well, I would think... Uh, about my life, I guess, okay. a lot, and I would try to change something yeah. because I don't know how long I have to live, yeah. still to live. Um, I would start a therapy, yeah. and um, I would make probably just best out of it. Yeah. Do you think it's important to have a test? Um, yes, if there is the possibility that you have um, HIV, but uh, if you're sure that you don't have it, you, you don't need the test, I think. Well, just to control and find out, would you think that's important? What would you say to that? Uh, well, if you think that it is possible you have it, you should do a test because, I mean, you can infect other people's. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. No very problem. helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. The two women in the last interviews mentioned both that it can make sense to make a test to uh, be clear about your status after you have taken a, a risk, actually. That is for yourself to know and to get help, and it's also to prevent the infection of other people. When it comes then to a positive test result, it can really, really be a difficult situation, especially if you did not expect that result. It can be that uh, you are shocked first, but as you see with the second lady, she is very well informed and she already has strategies. So she knows that it, today it is possible to get therapy. Still, in such a situation, it's important that you find out with whom you can speak and where you can get good information. It is in any case important that you speak with your doctor on how you should go on in the medical sense. But then there is also another part of it, because HIV is today still very stigmatized. So you have to find out with whom you can speak about disinfection. And that is still a very hard part, even if three quarters of the infected people in Switzerland are working today and alive after the diagnosis is possible.